I feel so basic saying this, but this white button down shirt is my most favorite and most worn thing in my closet. I love it and wear it so much, I dig it out of the dirty clothes. Actually, I don't even wash it that often because I wear it so much. So that is why today I am going to show you five different ways to wear a basic white button down. I'm gonna show you how to wear it to the beach, to brunch, a night out, a wedding. Oh, no, not to the weddings. No, you don't wear white at the wedding, scratch that. <laughs> But basically, I am going to show you how to take it from day to night. I also kind of hate saying day to night because that sounds so basic. And these ideas are fresh and new and I ultimately hope to inspire you. Now to be able to pull off these different looks, your button down needs to be lightweight, lofty. It can't be a structured button down blouse, you know, that's stiff or starched. It needs to be cotton or gauze or this I think is like a cotton poly mix because that is really how you are going to take it to all these different looks. This is a little pool ensemble that I love. And basically what I did is I layered over the button down over a bathing suit. So I got this marigold bathing suit from Sheen. It's Sheen or Shine. I don't know. I'm sure you guys have heard of that website. This bathing suit was so cheap. I will include it in the description. It was like under 20 bucks. And I love that it has an underwire. Um, I'm not sure about this open back situation, but I love the front. It feels more like an outfit than a bathing suit, honestly. And yeah, these high-waisted little denim shorts from Zara. And then I pulled it all together with these new shoes I got from Sam Edelman. I love the gathered leather. I don't even know if it's real leather. <laughs> Do the smell test. I don't think so. Anyways, it looks like leather. I don't think it's real leather, but look how pretty they are. Aren't they so chic and pretty? I'll include the link as well. And then I just got this oversized canvas tote from Mark and Graham that I love. I'm actually using it more for day to day than I am just like beach or pool because I don't go to the beach or pool that much. Anyways, I love this outfit. I think the white, the marigold, and the black just have strong contrasts and it's just such a Lindsay outfit. Okay, this next look is a black bias cut skirt and of course, the button down. Now this outfit as is would be pretty boring <laughs> and unamusing. And that's why I'm gonna show you the magic of a few little style tweaks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna have one button button like midway down and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna knot her up like this. Now this tip is also for those of you who like the idea of showing some midriff but don't wanna show too much. Uh, that's me. Um, so this just shows a little bit of the peak and you know what's great is the sides kind of, you know, camouflage a little love hang handles, a little overage. There you go. And then I paired it with these little lime green sandals that I just got from Zara that I love. So another big tip is to wear, this is just my preference, to wear a black seamless bra underneath. So for me, I like it to, you know, be fully like the full V-age situation and you don't want to see like a ratty old bra. So I love the contrast with the black base, you know, the skirt and the bra. And then when you see the bra, it doesn't matter because it's a seamless. Oh, and you also want to make sure you scrunch up those sleeves for more of an effortless look. Would you guys wear this? I need to know. You got to let me know. You know, I love your comments. This next look is a fresh take on wearing white on white. So the base is basically just this tight fitting top, which I wore in last week's video. So you just want something tight fitting. And then I tucked it in to these jeans that I got from Madewell. And then I paired the shoes with a cream colored pair of mules. So I think it's important that the bottom is like shades of cream or white. And then the topper is, of course you guys knew what it was, is the white button down, but very important. You're gonna scrunch the sleeves up and you are going to tuck it in all around, but you're not going to button it at all. You see how this looks? You kind of want it to be effortless and cool. Like I feel like I'm going to the Hamptons or Miami. I'm actually going to Miami, so maybe I'll wear this. It's probably going to be too hot. Anyways, this is a great look for those of you who want to cover up a little bit, but still feel very like springy or summery or whatever it is. And I would even like, I don't know, does it work if we blouse it out a little? Yeah, yeah, it works if we blouse it out. Just make sure that the base that you're wearing, you know, this top is really form fitting because that is how you're gonna nail this look. Oh, and don't forget the jewels. Very, very important. I love a little necklace layer and a little, yeah, they're on. Um, and a little chunky gold hoop and whatever you choose. Okay, the formula for this next outfit combination is red trouser pants or whatever color you like, 
gold flats, and of course our hero piece, the button down shirt. Now, what you're going to do, and I'm actually gonna show you a little party trick right here. What you're going to do is you're gonna keep your blouse unbuttoned all the way to the waist. Now, I do understand that some, some of you may not wanna show your bra, or you know, some of you may need support. I cannot not wear a bra. This would look really nice if you had no bra on. So just do whatever you need. If you need a layer of camisole under, that's cool too. Okay, so unbutton all the way to the waist. Then you're going to take it like this and you're going to, just like in the 80s or 90s, you're gonna flip it up and over and down. See, just like that, kind of like a, what is it? A fish tail, or you do that with the back of your hair, you know, ponytails when you were a kid. And then you're gonna tuck the tail right into the waist of the pants. And then you've created this little, I don't know what this is, like a gather, a design, so it cinches the waist at the top of the trouser. And I actually just thought of this. I'm so proud of this. It's kind of like the new take on knotting your shirt. Let's name it, let's name it. What are we gonna name it? What am I gonna name it? Is it the fish tail? I don't know, what is it? What do you guys think it is? Anyways, like I said, if you don't have to wear a bra, this would be super sexy for a night out. Or you can also layer a camisole underneath to get the same effect. I don't know about you guys, but this outfit just like screams vacation to me. It feels like very fashion editor, I don't know. What do you think? This next tip is so simple that I questioned including it, but it's truly a way that I wear this button down a lot, so I wanted to share it with you. So basically, your base is going to be a bias cut slip dress or any slip dress. I get it, slip dresses are so hard to wear because they are not forgiving, they show every single lump, bump, and whatever, and I know not all of us are comfortable with wearing something like that. So this is a great tip for those of you who kind of want to pull off the slip dress, but don't like want to feel so exposed. So basically what you want to do is you want to take your button down, layer it over the slip dress, obviously, and then you're not going to button it at all. What you're going to do is you're just going to knot it as is, like this, so you can see a little peak of the slip dress at the top. And then there you go. You have a little coverage in the arms, a little coverage on the sides. It's also nice because it nips right in the waist to define your waist to give you shape. And uh, just an easy, effortless, comfortable look. So what do you guys think? I always ask you what you guys think. You gotta tell me. <laughs> um, but I could go on about this perfect specimen of a button-down shirt. I hope I can find the right one to include in the link below. Please let me know what you guys thought of this video. I feel like you like these type of videos, like one thing styled various ways, so you'll have to let me know. Um, I'm also open to your suggestions for videos. Please, a girl needs a little help. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, now would be the perfect time. And yeah, I'm out. I gotta get back to my life and work. Pretty much just sitting in front of the computer for the rest of the day. So you are, or doing this is the light of my day. Okay, I'm rambling. I gotta go. Okay, love you guys. Bye.